hello guys welcome to a new video in today's video i'm going to show you how you can color grade your image with camera raw all right guys if you want to see this entire process you can follow me along to see how i'll do this from scratch to finish if you are new here my name is thank Ita, and if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys for staying along with me all this while let's dive into this tutorial all right guys to start with this process what we need to do firstly is to make sure that um, our image is here and when you want to do some manipulation with colors make sure you shoot in raw but this image that i'm working on currently it was given to me as jpeg so i can't really do like so much with it because it can actually lose in details as you can see even though the image is is kind of a sharp but i still have to like not do much if i do much it will kind of affect the image too much because it's a jpeg so guys to start with this process you know when it comes to color correcting i basically stick with the basic adjustments which are the exposure contrast highlights shadows white balance we also have texture texture and we have clarity over here these are the basic adjustments i just stop here i only work with the basic that's when it comes to color correcting then when it comes to color grading then i now i will now go into in depth into like color uh hue and saturation i'll go into levels i'll go into curves and also color calibration that's where i usually pick my settings in order to achieve a particular look so to start with the basic color correction here i will first of all make sure that my white balance is at where i want it to be i'll just keep it at let's say um uh, because i kind of prefer not warmer not cooler images I prefer to just stick with just stay in the middle that's where i prefer to stay then for the things i think i kind of like a bit of magenta in my image but not too much like a three here yeah, i can leave it at three then the next thing is the exposure for me the exposure is okay but i think i still need to maybe take it up a bit like this not too much then i'll add a bit of contrast then i'll reduce my highlight all the way down okay from here i think i've done something if i would do the before and after this is the before and this is the after this is the before here and this is the after then i will continue with the process so what i'll do now is i'll take my shadows up because the hidden part will reveal itself when i take my shadows up then i'll take my wife down then i'll take my blacks up it's just basic pretty basics then i'll add a bit of texture to this image then for the clarity for the clarity i'll just add a bit and for the dehaze i'll add a bit too yes that is it then for the vibrance and the saturation you know when we talk of vibrance vibrance basically deal with the color of the entire image like let's say those popping colors that's what actually deals with vibrance then for saturation saturation mainly deals with the skin tone like a skin tone the way the skin is kind of um is it uh kind of reddish in color or something like that so but i'll just add a bit of vibrance so if i add this vibrance you can see it's kind of um popping the image popping the colors of the image let me zoom in a bit so you can see what i'm doing so if i'm popping if i take it up like this it's kind of popping the image then for the saturation too let me just take it up a bit not too much yes okay guys this is the before and this is after so based on what we just did here you guys can see that we've actually done something here and this is what is called like a color correcting so we just call corrected the colors yes so from here we can decide to go in depth into this process into this work and we can go with our curves and in this curves, we have what we call tune curve here yes we have what we call tune curve in the tune curve i don't go i don't use this parametric i use the point here and also is a linear i use linear not medium contrast strong contrast or costume i just go with linear or i can actually i can go with costume which is okay so costume means i want to be the one to do my own thing i don't want a uh, photoshop or any kind of i don't want anything from photoshop i just want to be the one to do my thing okay so wh what i'll do next is this i will just create like a s curve no not really an s curve i'll create an 
point anchor point here i'll create another point here then i'll take this up a bit you can see but it's kind of getting too much so the tone curve is very powerful to be honest it is very powerful too in mostly uh camera raw or lightroom in any color package in any color software to be honest the tune curve is very powerful so it can actually take your image from um zero to hundred within a minute so based on what you just did here and you guys can see i'm i just like place the before and after beside each other so, so that you guys can actually see the differences but let me just go with a uh, full view of it okay this is the after actually so I've already used this, so I'll just, if I decide I still want to do much, I can decide to go and work with the red. And when it comes to working with the red, you know that red is the opposite of cyan. So if I take this curve up like this, you can see it gets a reddish, while if I take it downwards, it's kind of uh, getting more kind of cyan in it. Then, let me do, uh, let me bring it back. Then we have green. And with green, we know that green is the opposite of purple this is if i take it down you can see it's purple and if i take it up you can see it's green which we can call this purple magenta so let me just um let me explain through before i will use it even though i will use it i'll not use it that much because i can see it's not that i can see it's very powerful so if i say i will use it it can ruin the image so i'll just go with my blues now so with blues here, let me explain this one too. If I take it up, you see the image is getting bluish in color. Then if I take it downwards, you can see it's getting yellow. So yellow is opposite of blue. Blue is opposite of yellow. So just keep this or you can write it somewhere. It's very important. And so let, now let me start with my red. Okay, let me just undo this. Okay, so this is the image. Let me start with my red. So you just look into the image and see. Do you really need to increase, add some red to the image or do you need to add some cyan? For me, I think I can add a, red, a bit of red to the image. So I will just create an anchor point along this diagonal line here and take it up a bit. So I can still create that thing that I did there over there, which I will create two anchor points. I raise one in between them and see. See, if I take it up, it's kind of, ruin the image so let me just take it up a bit not too much so i'll just leave it there so i can take this one down here let me see i'm color grading so i'm doing my own thing but i will advise you guys to just okay stick with what you feel is okay for you you can go ahead and create your own but just don't do too much i'm just playing with it to see where i, I really like so i'll just go for the next one and see for the greens too I will create the same points on the line then i will see if i can let me see so i'm just playing with it then for the blues I will scan over. Let me take it up or let me take it down a bit. Yes, since down is yellow. So let me just add a bit of yellow to the image. All right, I think I'm okay with this few things I've done. Then what I'll do next is I'll go to my hue and saturation. Sorry, not hue, hue saturation and luminance, which we call HSL which is hue, saturation, and luminance. So with hue, saturation, and luminance, I will just um, what, play with it. Do same thing I did the other time. I will just play with it. I will increase the saturation so that I can see the effect that I'm doing. Yes, I will just increase it a bit so that even though I change it, I can actually see the effect very um, sharply. So I will just, let me just see if I can play with this. If so... So you can see that this one, the green is messing with the background. 
if I, if I take it up, you see that the background is kind of a changing color. Hue deals with changing the entire color, while saturation deals with uh, changing the intensity of the color, making if you want to take it high or low. Therefore, luminance usually deal with the brightness of the color. You want to take it uh, up or down, meaning if it is up, I think it's brighter, while if you take it down, it's darker. So that is it. So let me move forward. So this is it. So I'm just basically playing with these things here. I'm not doing anything crazy here. So this is it. I, for my blues, you can see that the blues is affecting her outfit. So I'll just try to see where I can actually stick with it. It's actually affecting the outfit. So I'll just, I want to make the outfit black as, as, um, as possible. So let me just take it down. So the outfit now is pure black. I don't want it to do, I don't want it to extra much with it. It's okay for me like this. I think I'm okay with this. Then for the luminance, I can decide to increase the light. Like I showed, I showed you guys, if you take it down, you see it's getting darker. If you take it up, it's getting brighter. So you can actually brighten a particular area with this luminance that you see here. So I'll just use it and still work on my images and brighten some parts. Yes, dark on some path. So it's just I'm just playing with these things, guys. I'm not doing anything magic here. I'm just kind of playing, tweaking it to see where I actually fit, where I actually want to st stick with. That's just it. Then we have split tuning. So for this image entire, I don't want to touch everything here because only the split tuning is for color reading, but I don't want to touch everything. So we have color, uh, we have lens correction, we have effect. So this effect basically deals with the green in your image, the amount of green you want to see in, on your image. Or we have, um, we also have vignette in here. Vignette, you can add some vignette in, in order for you to kind of uh, create a leading line, meaning to create a particular focus that, okay, you are telling the viewer, this is the particular, uh, what you want that viewer to see, like in on the image, this is what I want you to see. So this is the vignetting. Then we have calibration. So calibration is also like creating, is also used to create style, like a particular um, style for yourself, for this particular image. Let me see if I can do something with it. So this is just the tint section here. Then we have uh, the red primary, we have green primary, we have blue primary. So, you know, these are the usually primary colors. We have red, green, and blue. So from here, I'll just play with this thing again. I'll not do too much. Let me just increase the saturation a bit. Also, always make sure that you increase the saturation. Is when you increase the saturation, you can have the kind of a, a liberty to do what you want to do. So let me just I have increase the saturation. Then I'll just use this and see where do I actually want to stick with. So okay, I think four is okay for here. You know me, I tend to like orangey type of images pictures are kind of orangey in colors i don't know that's my own style but because over the years i've managed to understand that this is kind of style i want so and you maybe you can prefer somehow something red someone can prefer something brown so it all depends on what you want but for me i think the orangey is what i want so i'm just playing with this to see where i actually want to stick with all right guys i think with this few things we've done we've managed to color correct and color grade this image from scratch to finish i hope you found this video very helpful and don't forget to check out my digital store there i have some few presets there that you can actually get and work with they are very powerful you can also i have a free preset over there which you can sorry free lots over there which you can check thank you so much for watching today's video if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit, give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post any of my future videos. See you guys in the next one. Peace.